He is the cutest! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. I've made a few videos where I pay strangers to create interesting art to show you guys and it's become one of my favorite video formats to play around with. It got me thinking though, since it's the festive season, aka the time of giving, I could make one of these videos but give you, my viewers, the artworks. Hi lovely boys! But without you really knowing beforehand. So here's what I did. On Instagram, I put up a story asking, what's an image that doesn't exist but you wish did? After 24 hours, I selected a handful of responses and here we are with today's video. I have given these ideas to a friend who has gone and paid various artists to make them a reality. All of the final products have been compiled into a PDF file for me and the reason I had a friend do this is the same as usual to ensure I haven't seen any of these prior to recording this video. Video. That way, you and I can witness them for the first time together here today. I'm so excited! So let's see which ideas were chosen and how the artworks turned out. Paying strangers to make my viewers custom art. Artwork reveals. So we're just gonna scroll on down. Okay, the first person. I just want to say I love the name. Chicken with eyebrows, really big eyebrows, very mad. Very descriptive. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh my god! That is so cute! I wasn't expecting this sort of style, but it is so cute. Just look at his little wings flapping. They're so angry. And his little foot. I really love the use of color in this too. Like, it's soft, but once again, the eyebrows are just in your face. It also reminds me of a Pokemon style. I swear there's a type of chicken Pokemon, right? Chicken with eyebrows, really big eyebrows, very mad. I choose you. <laughs> oh wait, the chicken Pokemon actually looks nothing like this. This chicken also reminds me of those little tiny Easter chickens as well. So looking at the brief, is this what they asked for? Yes. Walk, walk, walk. <laughs> okay, scrolling. This one's from Pugatato. <laughs> this one's from Pugtatato. Dwayne the Rock Johnson cross Garfield. And that emoji. <laughs> All right, let's see what this looks like. And here we go. Damn, this is not what I expected. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just gonna say, for some reason, I expected Dwayne the Rock Johnson's face on Garfield's body, but we've got the opposite here, which we we love bulky. Garfield. Wait, do we? Now we can definitely recognize that this is Garfield. Just the whole face and the shading as well I really like. And just look at all the little veins on his arms. However, if I didn't look at the brief, I don't think I would associate Dwayne The Rock Johnson with this. It kind of just looks like any other like bodybuilder. But what can I say? I'm really proud of Garfield these days. I feel like if I saw this Garfield on the street, I would scream speaking of screaming this is how i think he would sound <laughs> i really think he would drink game of stuff <laughs> i'm so excited to announce that i am officially partnered up with the amazing people over at game of Subs. if you're interested in trying the drinks they have on offer you can for free! I've seen GamerSub supporting creators on YouTube of all sizes and genres, and I think that's pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed the freebies. Link is below. Now, did this answer the brief? Yes? Kinda? I was hoping there would be more Dwayne The Rock Johnson in it, or even in his, like, iconic outfit back in the day. Or maybe the facial expression. Do you think this would be Dwayne's fursona? <laughs> yes. Now we're scrolling. Now we have a suggestion from Punch Your Microwave. <laughs> a cocktail sausage in a dress. I surprisingly love that and I can't wait to see. Oh my God. He is the cutest. Just look at his little face. Oh, I did not expect this. Like, I really did not expect this. For some reason, I really just thought of a Frankfurt in like a Barbie dress. But this is 10 times better. Just look at the dress. He literally looks like the emoji. Can we just appreciate his little highlights as well? Even the little sausage top hat bit. <laughs> top hat. And even the dress, like it looks like it's so flowy and nice. 
and he's kind of accidentally flashing everyone, but I really like the simple cartoony art style with this, especially the face. Like, I feel like I really gravitate towards those simple, cute faces. Also, look at his little arms and his little feet little tiny feet. What I find really cool about this artwork is that the artist has used like textured brushes on this even though it's so simple it really just brings the piece together. This is such a banger! No pun intended. Look, I couldn't help myself. So this little guy is now part of a new limited time festive merch, which you can see on my Crown May store. He's on a shirt, he's on a sweater, he's just vibing. Links are in the description below. Does this meet the brief? Absolutely. Okay, so we got a request from Skipping Alarm 31. Real life upper. I don't know if this is going to be like a realistic artwork of like upper or if it's like upper as a person. All right, here goes nothing. And I see cuteness. Oh my God, look at the style. Is that upper fishing in the air? Okay, first thing I noticed about these two, the tongue. I love it. It's so cute. It's just simple and just bleh. What I really didn't expect was to see upper in a office job. It's probably useful that he has like a lot of hands. Oh wait, and the laptop, it has like the Air Nomad symbols on it. <laughs> Amazing. I really like how simple and soft this is. Like the color choices behind these are perfect. Also the cute little fisherman hat. Oh, just adorable. Overall, I'm a huge fan of how these turned out, but let's see if they match up with the brief. So the first one, he is wearing a hat and he's also fishing. Again, it's really cute, but is it really real life upper? So the second one he's put into a work environment, which I kind of lean more towards being real life upper because a lot of people do this in real life. Seems so relatable. So yeah, I definitely think the second one matches the brief perfectly. We've got from Sup Guess Who 2022. A frog with a top hat riding a skateboard with roller skates on eating cake. Oh my, that's a lot. I will say there were a lot of suggestions like this where there was like one thing with a bunch of other things added on top of it. I think I might have liked this one though because it had a frog in it. I love frogs. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I'm actually speechless. Oh, I'm really just taking this all in. First, I wanna say, look at his little face with the cake. So cute. The second thing I noticed, the flames on the skateboard. Damn, he's got some speed. I really find the perspective on this really cool. I didn't expect it to be like this at all. I really thought it was going to be face on, but we're just seeing a whole lot of frog belly, which isn't a bad thing. He's cute. Oh no, I've offended the frogs. There's so much attention to detail in this, but once again, it's a fun sort of cartoony style and vibe. Some little details I've noticed are all the little birds in the background. Also, the frog guy sweating. He's such a sweaty frog. Also the little stickers and this little tiny target in the background. Also look at all these little eggs. And the mother bird. The little flare on the sun is a really nice touch as well. You guys already know, this little froggy boy is getting the sausage treatment. Ugh, that sounds weird. He too is available as merch on my Crowdmade store, but in the form of a vibrant, beautiful poster. Just look at that. Links are below. I'm blown away by the artist, and I'm also blown away by the frog. Does it answer the brief? Okay, so a frog, yeah. a top hat, yeah. riding a skateboard, yeah. with roller skates, yeah eating cake. Yeah. Perfecto! Now for the last one, we have one from Colossal Alex. Picture of a baby doing push-ups. Wait, do they even have the muscles to do that? I mean, Boss Baby probably does. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it says buff on the bib? Imagine walking into a room and seeing this. He is adorable. I will give him that. Is he going to the same gym as Garfield? Something I really want to point out with this, just look at the double chin. Like, he's still doing push-ups, 
but he's got that baby double chin. I also love that tiny little tooth and the little dribble coming out of his mouth. There's just something about the light shadings with this. It just reminds me of WikiHow pictures. How to make your baby buff. Does it match the brief? I say yes. As always, the artists involved with this video did an amazing job. They all deserve a round of applause. I've included their profiles in the description below, so be sure to hit them up if you need any art related work done. Highly recommend. To those lucky Instagram followers who suggested these artwork concepts, thank you and you're welcome. Catch you later, Wobbly Boys.